deck with seven on the shot clock. Ellis gets Baker to leap, fires the second one up there. Here comes Arkansas in transition. And LSU does a good job getting back. Battle takes it strong and does what I mean, what they did from last year to this year has been just uh, is really fitting and coming together. They're sitting there now with a net of the, the net and the, the schedule in the preseason has a lot to do with it. But Arkansas went last year at eight and ten. That's right. Open floor with Battle, Ellis, Davis, Brazil, Lawson. These guys still to come tonight on the SCC Network. The second end of our double header. It'll be Vander LSU already with four, wow. make it five turnovers. Sloppiness for the Tigers. Davis rejected, but a foul for ratio, yeah. which is. For my money, one of the yeah. more telling stats, Joe. And Davis calmly sinks a pair. Right, 16-footer, too strong. Top floor for the offensive rebound is Reed and a two-hand slam. Bonus. That won't help a deflected pass turnover for Mike Williams. Williams taking it strong and weaves his way to the bucket mark. Seven on the shot clock. Mitchell guarded by Dean. Mitchell, a fade and fire, and hits coming from downtown. Uh, absolutely. LSU's come in in the last five games shooting about 37, 38 percent. As you can see, that's what Mitchell does. He's great. I know Joe Klein is happy when he sees paint touches, and we've had a few. Strong take and a nice follow by Williams. Boy, has he been active. Ellis thought about it, now launches. Ellis appears. Looks like tonight he's off to a great start. Hannibal with a drive and kick, sets up Reed. Big man throws up an air. Halfway through half number one, backdoor cut. It's going to be Mark, and he's fouled. Great job by Mitchell. Who's going to be there? Joe, that play. Go somewhere else. Right. Mark. Really having trouble getting any kind of rhythm offensively. Can they calm down, get some guys some shots? Wilkinson not known. That's the first time these teams met. 25 points. He's scoreless so far tonight. Davenport straight on three. And Davenport and play in that lane area. And they got to come out and challenge for three. It's not comfortable. Jordan Wright knocks. And again, for LSU, a lot riding on this game. You try to make it five out of six. A winning record in conference rate to LSU. They did not find their stride until later on this game here late, maybe doing something in Nashville to feel very good about things. But you saw at the net ranking right now of 88 for LSU. Davenport finds Mitchell, great two-man game. Good hands and good finisher at the rim. Hannibal lost it. Fountain picks it up and gets it to drop on the... Going to work here, draws a double. Going to take the shot anyway, missed everything. And then a wedgie on the follow and a foul. On the year. Musselman after that first game. But that was hard to do in a gym by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Baker now 0 for 3. Mark to battle. Battle's been quiet. And he'll draw another foul. Some players to contact. It puts you in a very precarious situation because as an 18 against Kentucky. So in the last three games, 40 fungal point in the first meeting between these two teams. Rise and fire for Ward, and that's the strength of his game. He is a short, good look for Jordan Wright. Here's Davenport streaking. Alley oop to Brazil. One of the things are raising. Twin tower look right now for Arkansas. Mike, those are the shots and the plays that he's got to make. He spends too much physical presence, a great leaper. Injuries have hampered him. Now still projected second round pick, and I wonder, Joe, if he might be better served coming back for another year. Player, mm -hmm. but when you're 6'11 with length, you need to be able to go right there a lot. Yep. Right on cue. Consistent that they can depend on night in and night out to do anything in the tournament. They got to have it. Reed off the out of the translate come game time. Almost every time, Mike, it's a lack of communication, not switching on a screen or not talking. Father was a terrific player at Ole Miss. Four-point game now inside, and there is Davenport. Here come the Hogs. Battle racing, reverse layup pops out, and there for the follow is Mark. 
Mark rise and fire from 15. Be greenlit for next year. We've got our best people working on that. Tough shot by Ward. Offensive rebound and stick back is good. High right. Now Hannibal, if he can corral it, he tosses oh. to Ward. Oh. Ward missed it, got it back, and banks it home. Driving and weaving his way to the bucket. Body and uses out hands to get it out and get a layup. Another awful turnover on Hannibal and then gets posted. From LSU, you just got to be their head scratches. Ten of them already. And then a hook and hard for Lawson. The bench on Lawson's well, they gave three a point play there. Yeah, they, they, yeah. Your turnovers, are, you're not getting anything. Fountain with a little jump step and then a nifty 10 point game. LSU trying to clean things up and cut back into that deficit as Wright draws. It was 10 out of 11 in Baton Rouge. Him getting to the free throw line is a, is a Doberman. And if you follow Jordan Wright's Instagram, almost every picture points getting shots on the rim. Ward, somewhat of a force, but he gets it to go. Six. Battle. Nice feed to Lawson. Battle says, hey, I can dish. Here's Baker. Got a mismatch size-wise. Baker takes it in and draws a fast in Texas. Started his career with. And the lefty does not get the bounce on the second. Can't connect. And then nobody gets back on battle on the other end. And that's going to be a goal 10. Count the back. Just a bit outside. Just a bit outside. <laughs> Tried the corner and missed. And then Wright gets fouled on the other end. Yeah, he just came coming in. Twitter. Wright knocks down the first one. Calming influence, but has also served that leadership role that Matt McMahon did. They're going to call that every time. That's a three. Knocked down by Ward. Davenport. Inside Mitchell left alone. Goodness. That was done neither. Ward off a curl. Nice pass to the cutting Hannibal. Beautiful. Well, battle is off the floor now for Arkansas. We'll see who picks up the slack. How about Ellis? <laughs> Backdoor cut. Boy, they have just abused LSU on that play. Back to a seven-point cushion for Arkansas. Here's right. Alley, you pass to Dean. I like that action by Ellis. And then you had a prolific score, the all-time leading score in Arkansas history. Played today. Oh, goodness. He could be winning scoring. Yep. Mitchell. Mitchell up top. Mitchell. <laughs> Look, the parting of the Reds. Got to see, put Reed on him, put Fountain on him, maybe go a little smaller. He checked three. Knocked down by Battle. He was Denver. And they, what, they weren't in the top eight in the preseason. I was looking at him, watching him play, and I'm like, if they're. Ward on the handoff. Takes it strong, a little bit out of control. Hannibal got it back. Great hustle by Trey Hannibal. Transformation. And I think when you talked about those other little aspects, the, the, the three or four shots, and you go, well, I'm getting nothing from him at this end. I'm right. getting nothing from him at that end. That thing never had a chance. Came off the hand funny. Here's Battle on the other end. Dipsy do, and that'll be a goal 10. Ninth. Seven point game with seven minutes to play. Wright goes to work and takes it right on Battle that time. And I like him having. Battle's lined up in the left corner. He's had the hot hand for Arkansas. Instead, it'll be Mark fouled on a three by Ward. Get anywhere close to the shooter because if you brush him, you're going to go. Don't know that it garners a, a, a foul, but again, you put yourself in. Good luck with it. Yeah, just contest, don't foul. That's the mantra. Hey, that would have cut it to four. Called the foul on right? Yes. And then a dime drop by Ep Mark. Back to Mitchell. This time contested by Fountain, but he just Arkansas attack it. Well, that's one way. Here's another. Well, when you're in the zone, you have a time. He's now up top. Wow. Wow. Count the basket. Get it to the rim. 
Battle has now made 24 consecutive free. A stretch like this from a guy who really was almost playing in complete obscure. They're going to score. They're going to get to the free throw right. line and do some things, and they've shown they can score some points. Here's the finish by Ward. By scores like a mark and this man, Caleb Battle, who will go to the line for two more. Have a run for Arkansas, by the way, as you see the first free throw night. Nato's just trying to get that team to. Defense is like insurance, Mike. I mean, the, when you're not making shots, you rely on your. Ellis with two to shoot. Battle's going to fire. Battle hits it at the buzzer. Get some steals, try to do some things. You see him going a little bit smaller here, so look for some. And Arkansas breaks it rather easily. Mitchell again. If you're on that back line defense in the press, you cannot give up a layup. Ward, who's been quiet tonight, sinks that. But a victory, trying to score 95 to 100 points. The CC tournament on the horizon. So they still have a shot at some pass and an easy layup off the transition. Right. On the drive, gets an easy bucket. Eight-point paint, swats it away. Boy, he saved one there, didn't he? That would have been an easy layup. Battle now trapped, and that'll be a was the eraser on that play. Meanwhile, Battle continuing to tack on. Scares you or makes you do things defensively. It has been, by their standards, abysmal. And they scored. It wasn't pretty. I remember having Arkansas a few weeks ago, and they were really struggling straight. Second weekend NCAA tournament appearances. When you go to the portal and you have last five or six games with battle getting hot, with Mitchell playing, you know, what do all coaches say? You need to make shots. Yep. And they've shown offensively, whereas I think in the years past, overall, scoring 60 points. I just, I don't, I don't see it happen. I don't. Take the dub. 94-83, your final score. The Razorbacks defeat. As we send you now to Rupp Arena, the Commodores and the Kentucky Wildcats. Take it away, gentlemen.